Finally, this is the moment we have been waiting for, and this is now here. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 cover display real look is out, and you can potentially tell the difference between the Z Fold 6 and the Z Fold 5. We already have a renders, and there is one bad news for you. So stick till the end to find more, and for more updates, don't forget to subscribe. This is the first real look of Galaxy Z Fold 6 cover display. According to the source, this is the first dummy unit of Galaxy Z Fold 6 find on Korean forum. Although source also claims I don't know how accurate it is, but looking at this dummy unit of Galaxy Z Fold 6, this thing looks similar to what we are expecting from Z Fold 6. It will going to feature a boxier design similar to S24 Ultra. And one thing I noticed, and you guys might notice as well, the hinge is extremely thinner on Z Fold 6. And even the speaker grills up to the top also tells this is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 instead of any other SE's device. This is also fairly wider compared to what Galaxy Z Fold 5 offered last year. Also, we have a screen protector of Galaxy Z Fold 6, which also explains the similar design as this new dummy, claiming same box here and more skirt off corners. But before talking about screen protectors, first, the ones who want to see the side-by-side -side comparison between the Z Fold 6 cover display and Z Fold 5 cover display, then this is the difference. This is the difference between the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Fold 5. Galaxy Z Fold 6 comes with a boxier design and slimmer hinge. Now, due to a new hinge design on Z Fold 6, we are going to see a wider cover display. This is the only difference between the Z Fold 5 and Z Fold 6. Now it does look wider because the hinge part is reduced and the display is also changed. This indeed a symmetrical bezels on Z Fold 6, which is for the first time happening on the Galaxy Z Fold device. There is no symmetrical bezels on Z Fold 5. Now if you are thinking, is this new cover display is wider enough compared to the OnePlus Open? No, it's not, because we already have the screen protector of Galaxy Z Fold 6 and by measuring the size, Z Fold 6 is way taller compared to the OnePlus Open. This is the screen protector of Galaxy Z Fold 6 alongside Galaxy Z Fold 5. There are a couple of major changes here, so let's list them one by one. First, Samsung is moving from rounder design to more skirt off design on Z Fold 6. There is one more important thing and no one talks about this. On Z Fold 5, we can see the display is slightly thicker from the hinge side and a little bit uneven due to hinge, but there is no such thing on Z Fold 6. This also indicates Samsung is even decreasing the hinge and making a wider cover display. Samsung wants a sweet spot. That's the reason they are going with this design. Obviously now everyone explains. This is 60.2mm compared to 57.4mm, not much of a big difference. Although, when you look at the picture, there is a clear difference. But if you compare with the OnePlus Open, no, it's not that wider. Although it looks like OnePlus Open cover display, but it's fairly taller. Now, upon researching about OnePlus Open cover display width, it's 73.3mm, a lot wider compared to what leaked here. Obviously, this information is not from official sources, so until we compare both devices side by side, we cannot put our final thought in it. Now, let's talk about the bad news about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and potentially for the Galaxy Z Flip 6. There is a new source claiming big about the price of Galaxy Z Fold 6, and according to the source, we are going to see a price hike this year. Now, it is already confirmed we are going to see a Snapdragon Gen 3 made for Galaxy processor on Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. So the price increase is expected. Now according to this source and even previous ones, the price increase would be similar to Galaxy S24 Ultra, where we got $100 price hike on S24 Ultra. Similarly, Z4 6 and Z Flip 6 will going to feature a $100 price hike. So the new price would be $1899 instead of $1799 on Z4 5. But if you pre-order your device, you might see some benefits and maybe some sort of sense of credit. Now that we know about the price, let's see what we know so far about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra or Z Fold 6 Slim and the release date of Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. And is it coming alongside the Z Fold 6? Obviously no. There are three different sources claiming Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. The first source claims Q6A is very real even if it's missing from Mr. B's list. If you guys don't know who Mr. B is then in my last video of Galaxy Z Fold 6, I shared M and Blast list of upcoming devices in this unpack event, but there was no Ultra model in it. The second source, which I believe is very true because it is from none other than Ross Young, a display supply chain consultant. He claimed 
hearing about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim Quarter 4 2024. Bigger display than Galaxy Z Fold 6, but price similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and no pen input. Isn't that weird? If we are going to get the Ultra model, how is it supposed to have no S Pen support? And how is it possible to have a similar price as Galaxy Z Fold 6? How big a display is? These are all the questions. And does that mean the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim or Z Fold 6 Ultra, whatever would be Samsung's first foldable phone after Z Fold 3, to have no S Pen support? Seems a bit off to me. Now after this news, Ross Young shared another information about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra or Slim. He claims, the panel shipment starts in quarter 4, 2024 and will likely launch in quarter 1, 2025 with the S25 Ultra. Well, this is really a good decision since if Samsung is going to make a bigger phone alongside the Z Fold 6, it will going to affect the sales of a Z Fold 6. So they waited and will launch with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. But keep this thing in mind, Z Fold 6 Ultra or Slim will not going to feature an S Pen support but will have the same price as Z Fold 6. Now we were a little bit concerned about the battery life of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 lately and then source back in the days claimed big about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 battery life. And as rumor claimed, Samsung was going to introduce similar features like battery AI on Galaxy Z Fold 6 and rumors claimed big about it. Previously, there were two rumors who claimed about the battery AI and now the internal source also confirms it. No matter how good it is, it can only add up 30 to 60 minutes of more battery life and he claimed about the S25 Ultra. And we might see a similar feature on Z Fold 6. Although one source claimed about the Z Fold 6 specifically, according to the source, Samsung was going to enhance the battery backup by 20 to 30 minutes which is obviously what I'm expecting a screen on time. Now this source didn't confirm which thing is gonna change but there is another source claiming even big about the battery life of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 who claims about the display of Galaxy Z Fold 6. Sorry, I didn't mention above, there is no battery update on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Ice confirmed, we are going to see a 4400mAh battery on the Z Fold 6 instead of what leaked before 4600. Also, these battery improvements are only depending on software optimization, no hardware change from Samsung. Also, we got the camera design of Galaxy Z Fold 6 and it looks different. And this is what Ice claimed about the Galaxy Z Fold 6 cameras. He shared this picture from Galaxy Z Fold 6 camera. This is the camera detail design of Galaxy Z Fold 6. It seems Samsung changed the camera design on Z Fold 6. It is too close so we cannot say much. But I believe there is no such camera array on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. The lenses are individually aligned which seems okay. Although if you are wondering are we going to see a camera update? Well, we are only gonna see 50 megapixel main sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 10 megapixel 3x tele for the sensor. If you are thinking it looks familiar then it will because it is same as Galaxy Z Fold 5. Maybe a new 50 megapixel sensor is used for the Z Fold 6. Samsung is launching earlier and the release date of a Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6 and Watch 7 series is confirmed. According to confirmed sources, Samsung will going to launch all these new devices on 10th of July, way earlier compared to last year 26th of July for a previous event. On this note, if you find value from this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time till then, peace out.